Sportif here, back with some video. I'm going to be reviewing a Jurassic World Dominion set. It is called the, I don't know how to say it, I'm going to show the name on screen. Plain Ambush set. Has 306 pieces, retailed for $40 in the US. And it is recommended for ages 7 and up. Now we'll take a look at the figures anyway, before we're we get going to take a look build. at the figures. But first we'll take a look at the dinosaur and the world. You know, you have to describe it. It's this word, but I don't feel like saying it. Is it? This is probably going to be kids watching this video. Specifically, because it's dinosaurs, so like, I don't want to cuss in it. Normally, like I would cuss in other things like Marvel and stuff, but this is like dinosaurs, and it's really popular. But it's the dinosaur, which I'm going to show on screen again, as I don't know how to say it, and I don't want to like mess it up. Quadiaxor, so yeah, I don't know how to say it. It's a giant pterodactyl. It's the biggest like flying one. Of the I really like this how you have these like ball joints up here that are from like the mech usually in white But the only problem I have with it you can't bend down the head because it would have been cool to have it in his pose and just have him like bending his head down But you got a lot of pose ability on this thing like if I zoom out completely We can see there and you can see the size of my thing but oh well but You can see it I got a lot of pose ability in this little thing like just for it being a little thing Anyway, so we're get the main together. character of this movie, one of the main characters, being Owen Grady, as he is pretty much one of the main characters, and he is just basic, like, he looks like he's from the last, like, just the same. I do love that face print for Chris Pratt, as it looks really much like him. Anyway, there's nothing much else to say about this figure, and I'll take a look at the other two figures that have more interesting stuff for him. Look at Claire. This is my first figure of Claire. I don't know if that jacket's not exclusive that it shows up in another set, but it's still a nice print nonetheless. Like it, and I think that the head. I don't know if that came in like the original Jurassic World sets. I do know it was used in Fallen Kingdom, but it's a nice print overall. I, the hair, eh? It is what it is. It looks nice on the figure. And then you just got some. I wonder why there's a random cut. I accidentally pressed stop recording before I took a look at the next figure. But the next figure is called Kayla. Kayla Watts. And I think she's the girl in the chair that's flying with them in the plane. And the problem is, she had like. Uh, it's not her whole hair is not this color. It's only like the lower parts of it. Her main hair color is black. Don't know why they did it like that. But okay. It looks cool. It kind of reminds me of like someone from Captain Marvel for some reason. Like. Looks like a mix between both. It's a cool figure. I loved it. I don't. I feel like that head came in like a Star Wars set for some reason, but like I don't know for exactly if it did. But yeah, now we'll take a look at the build. I need to re-record this segment. But the build build here. Um, I don't know if it showed in my segment. It's a crappy little thing. It is a oh, Santa? Get out of here! But it's a massive, massive plane. Like. It's huge for what it is for forty dollars. This is big. I mean, it's, not, well, it's on par with the Black Widow plane I got a few years ago. But yeah, one thing I wish to happen. I mean, it moves smoothly when you turn it, but the wheels over here turn underneath. And what you can do is you can like since it's a plane ambush, it shows in the instructions you can take these off, and you could just connect those right back there. And I love this. And this is actually also going to be used in the stop motion I'm going to be working on for um something i'm not revealing yet but you'll you could probably guess what but there's a lot of nice things to it as we get to the back over here the less detailed area one thing i will say that's interesting is this print on the side as it cut midnight oil which it's by the name of ship but it, it's a lego yellow figure lego city and this is a realistic line esque thing so it looks weird and not right the only sticker i put on wrong is the sticker right here it's put on good it just i put it on upside down which means scar scratch should be up there not down here anyways we'll go look at the back again and then you can remove this and this to get a better look at the interior which is kind of basic for a plane i mean you can set some figures in there and just have them standing Oh, I did not expect that to actually. I never tested the sanding, but they stand pretty well. And then you can always open it and grab out the figure. I I feel like that's for like some kind of dinosaur. Oh wait, actually I think I know. You put this in here too, I think. 
which would make a lot more sense why they include it. So you could set it, and it fits in there. So that's nice. Anyway, we'll take a look at the front of the plane, which we already took someone to look at the detailing. There's not a lot of stickers, actually, for a $40 set. You'd think there'd be more. But, yeah, there's not a lot of stickers. But you have a standing room, I guess, for two figures. I don't know why you can't fit three in the cockpit area. Like, it's weird. Yeah, very weird. But, yeah, I guess you could throw one in the back if you really want to. Be like, hey, screw you, you're going in the back. But it removes easily. Nope, something just came off the front. So now i got to fix that real quick. But overall, it's a nice set, honestly, not going to lie. There's nothing much else to say to it. It's a pretty big plane. I recommend getting it if you like planes. To compare it to the dinosaur the set, dinosaur is pretty big compared to it. Like, yeah, and this has to go on my other shelf, my blue shelf. Um, because it's so large, so it won't fit on my brown shelf, which has mostly a lot of stuff on it. So yeah, anyway, that's just that. I hope you guys liked this video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts, what you like, and do next. And I will see you guys in the next video.